Look at the calendar. Look at your watch. Look at your cell phones. Look at your computers, your tablets, and all that fun stuff. And what is it? It's Tuesday. What happens on Tuesday? It's Transformer Tuesday. You got it. And we're going back to the 80s for all the 80 babies out there. We're going back to the 80s for this one. Anyway, I told you guys I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit. And here's my attempt at mixing it up and make it a little more fun for everyone. So let me see over here. Where did I put that? I got to make sure I have everything. There it is. Anyway, so... Like I said, we're going back to the 80s. We got highbrow over here. But before we get into all that, you got to come over here. You got to come over there. Hit that subscribe. So you know when all these great videos come out and you can be happy. And you can have something to entertain you on a beautiful Tuesday. So hopefully you guys are having a great Tuesday. As we get into this, I'm just coming over here to get some of the stuff over here. You know, back then, the Transformers. Now, this is when... They started switching to the plastic. This is one of the headmasters. It's got Grot, the pilot. So this is when it got more plastic, plaxi, more plastic like, but it's still pretty cool. It's not one of the best headmasters, but he's pretty cool. Headmaster highbrow right there. You have little Grot, Grot, Grot. So there you see little the pretty artwork on there, and built-in um tech meter right there i never really showed the bottom of the bus the boxes in the 80s were cool sorry all the nowadays and it still has its little red thing so you could check out his strength intelligence speed endurance ranking courage firepower and skills and you got a little bio on there i miss that people they need to bring that part back and of course to accompany our autobot over here he's an autobot right? yes <laughs> highbrow we have Optimus, but it's the Michael Bay. And we have the old school Jetfire limited edition Funko Pop over there. So first things first, let's see. Uh, we'll do the instructions first because I usually do them anyway. Let me move Highbrow back in and we'll take a look see at him soon. But if you were interested in seeing the instructions, maybe you bought one without it and you just want to take a looky. There you go. Pause the video. Pause for the calls, people, and you are good to go. You will see it there. And of course, back then they had all the little crazy papers with it, and this one is no different. We have the Rodimus Prime. Remember the Transformer Great Battle of Earth. Little thing here, and you have Optimus. You have Megatron. And you have radio silence there for a minute. Sorry about that. I haven't looked at that in a million years, so I'm kind of shocked myself. So there you have it. Autobot squad right there. Squadron. You got Thundercracker, Reflector. Then you have over here the little guys. We have a cool little poster right there. You have Wheeljack, Mirage, Sunstreaker, Ratchet. You have Warpath, Cosmos, Cliff Jumper. So there you can order your Transformers right there. So uh, it's not a, a $21 for Optimus Prime. It went up a little bit from when he first came out, but not too, too bad there. I'm going to have to show my son this one. He enjoys the old stuff, so I'm going to show him that one. I don't think he ever seen that one. So as I said, we have Highbrow here. He is a quad helicopter, if you would. The... But the propellers turn and make the pub, the helicopter fall. Um, as you can see, it does have the spinny spinnies helicopter right there. You do have the guns underneath that he usually carries in his hands, but you can put them on here, of course. You have a little bit there. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually did that wrong. It's supposed to be like that. No wonder, because the wheel's on there. It gave me the cue. So, we will take a second look at this. So... There, that's how you have it right there. It's been many years since I played with this. So there you have it right there. That's how he looks. He's got the little spinners right there. That's what he looks like underneath. And you have the cannons that turn for him. He has little guns. And of course, you have your headmaster inside. He does, if we could get it to focus, he does fit right in there. And he does come out. That closes right back up. 
It's so much better when this is like that in the back. It makes a lot more sense. I should have realized that. <laughs> a little bit of fumble there, huh? I can't have a video on a fumble. Come on. Anyway, you got your little guy here, Grot. They should have called him Groot. That would have been, f like, really funny if he was Groot. But they probably would have got copyrighted. I don't know if it was Groot out then or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not a real Marvel person, so I couldn't tell you. So there you have a little guy right there, a little headmaster. So I'll take one more look-see. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's see if it still works. The little heat thing over here. Uh, kind of works. Yeah, it works. Somewhat. You can see that, right? So, of course, before you start transforming, you would want to fold in his blades. The blades, the way it's holding is really well. Like, this metal piece right here is... I have no complaints about that. So, you would spin this back around. You would pull down on this. I took it off. It's it's still pretty solid. I, I must have not have played with it when I was younger, pretty much. So, there you have them. They pulled down like so. Then you would come over hall. That is the legs. The stickers are still on here. They're fresh, so take off your guns because you're going to need them. You want to flip that back. You want to flip these bad boys up. And you have these little slides right here that make your hands slide out. You want to flip your wings back. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. You want to get those cannons in. I'm saving the best part for last. I'm going to save the head for the last. So there you have it. Boom. Boom. A little one hand action right there. Turn around. You got your headmaster right there. And the cool little feature was you fold down the chest. And you got to see his strength. Um, speed, strength, and intelligence. He is a perfect five. Well, a little bit higher than a five. So he's pretty cool. He, he kind of gives me that old school look. I'm not meaning like old school 80s, but... Kind of like the what you would see on Cybertron type of deal. So as you can see right there, he's kind of a basic guy. They kind this is when they started getting to the basic designs. They the robot form wasn't as cool and sophisticated as nowadays. But this is when they kind of got into that basic kind of shape to them and everything. So it wasn't like crazy and outrageous. But this is, you know, when they started getting those basic shapes out and start doing things a little bit different. So as you can see, articulation, absolutely none down here. This is why I'm saying the newer ones, as far as robot form, if they could somehow make one that looked like an 80s one in vehicle mode, but look like a newer version in robot mode, I would call it complete and utter perfection. Because these didn't move that much. <laughs> they have very little movement. You got some hip. You got some on the shoulder. Nothing on the elbows. Nothing on the hands. Nothing on the head other than this coming out. And yes, it does. See, it does change the reading on it. That's what you got with the headmasters. That was an interesting... I mean, the toys got a little like weird then but the cartoon story was pretty freaking interesting i think i kind of like the story on the cartoon more so than the toys but it was still cool as you can see right there it's the highbrow right there you can't really pose them in that i mean you know compared to him, it's a big difference <laughs> in what it, the box look like and what he looks like if they would have put a joint here and maybe a joint there I would have felt a hell of a lot stronger about this guy. But like I said, you know, they were in their, their early stages back then. They didn't develop everything yet. Maybe that's why things went up and went up in price because of the development of the robots and stuff like that. Or robot forms. We can only speculate, right? So, people, there you have it. That's Mr. Highbrow there. Got Transformer into Highbrow head and back. There you go. And built-in tech spec meter. So that was the tech spec meter. 
So there you have it, people. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, have a great Transformer Tuesday. <laughs>